morning guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are on our way to Kyoto and we are taking probably the most exciting way yeah. to get there. I've looked The right. most exciting and the most fastest way to get there. Yeah, so we are getting on a bullet train which makes this only like, is it 15 or 20 minutes? About, about around that. It's like super quick and it can go up to speed of 300 and something miles so per hour. So the fastest um, bullet train here in Japan is about 374 miles per hour which is over 600 kilometers per hour. We are getting on, it's the Shinkansen train, which is 199 miles per hour. That's that is so, so quick. quick. That's like, I, I'm excited to see how quick like everything yeah. goes by, but it cost us 33 pounds for, uh, yeah, 33 pounds for both of us. What was it in yen? Do you remember? No, I can't remember. 1,000, let me check. So it was 5,500 yen all to, uh, together for both of us. It's not bad. It's so not, not bad. terrible, but it's quite expensive minutes. for a 15 to 20 minute train. But it's the quickest way, and you've just got to do it when you're in Japan. Mm. Like, you can't come to Japan and not go on a bullet train. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're just waiting for our bullet train now. I think it's currently about half past 10, and our train's not coming till 11 o'clock. So I'm yeah, I'm excited. And the trains look so cool as well. They're like the only problem that we got is that hopefully our luggage, the pink one there, is allowed to get in the train because yeah. apparently you're not allowed large luggage. But you're only allowed medium-sized luggage. Yeah. Ours definitely looks like the biggest bag here. Mm. But so far we've got through every single like security member yeah. and everything. So fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, so this is our ticket. Our price as well um, includes the ticket, um, the seats. So we reserved two seats, so, and hopefully we'll be able to put our luggage there. But yeah, look, so cool, so shiny. Yeah, like glossy. Let's go Kyoto. It's nice to see inside the train. Yeah, it looks very comfy actually. Only 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, so the leg room is good. I mean, we've got our bags here, but look. It's quite good, isn't decent. it? Nice window. Oh. It's quite a big one. Oh, that's very nice. Wow. And yeah, it's comfortable. I heard that the seats can flip round, but. And um, this is where we put a luggage here. So that's what we like paid that. extra for. Yeah. So we paid extra for these seats so that our luggage can go there. So if you've got luggage, you need to reserve luggage so you get these seats and you can put your luggage behind because it's too big to go overhead. So this train actually says for Tokyo. And I don't know if Kyoto is on the way to Tokyo, but a guy on the thing told us this was our train. So hopefully we do end up in Kyoto. I don't know how many stops that even yeah, is so. until we're there. Alright okay, guys, so we just found out this is the correct train. Yeah. We're not going to Tokyo yet. And it's only one stop. And it's only one stop, so... The first stop, yeah. So we've got a tray table, which is pretty big and comes out pretty close. But Zash has found a new feature. Yeah, so um, you know when you normally in like other places, other like in a bus or other train or plane, it's a button. This one isn't, look. You don't normally get a reclining seat on a train. No, not on a train, but look. It goes back. It goes all the way back. Like, look at the gap. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> all trains should be like this. <laughs> you Imagine. think? Yeah. We've actually left early, which, good job we got here early because it said that it's an 11 18 train, so we've left 20 minutes early. Um, but it's we've only just started and we straight away went like this. Yeah. And we're not even going top speed yet. <laughs> It's got a turbo. Yeah. Oh. It's so smooth. Like you can't feel any jolts or anything. No. It's not. really smooth. I feel like we're gliding. They're the bullet trains, but they're standstill. Oh, look how long they are. Wow. Oh, that was a bullet train. I thought that was. Yeah, they were, they were tracks. bullet trains. They're tracks too. Whoa, there's more bullet trains.
so we are nearly here. That was so quick. I don't think it's even been 15 minutes. No. Oh my god. But my uh, my eardrum says burst. Hmm. Just slowing down. Yeah. Such a nice experience. It's completely different, and it's so quick. Yeah. And just ah. like that, we have made it in Kyoto. So quick. And the weather here is actually the same. Yeah. I think it's much more sunnier. Yeah, it seems sunnier, doesn't it? But yeah. Let's go find our hotel. Two hours later. All right, guys. So we have dropped off our luggage at the hotel. We can't check in until three o'clock, unfortunately, and it's currently half twelve. Our hotel looks amazing, though. And we're one of the cheapest, most decent places we could find. We'll show you around later, but lots of free amenities. Mm, like you can get pajama, obviously comb, masks, everything, everything you need, mm. basically. But um, we are going to go to the main city, which is going to take us about 18 minutes. And we're going to go to this matcha place. It's called Matcha House, because apparently Kyoto is famous for its matcha. Oh, really? I didn't mm. even know that. I don't think I've ever tried matcha, have I? Yeah, but you didn't like it. Oh. I'll try it again. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. Alright guys, we've made it into an alleyway in, here in Kyoto in the main centre. One minute we were in this like really busy, yeah. almost like shopping centre, shopping street. And now we've just gone turned one corner and we're in this really quiet and quaint little alley. And it just looks so, so cool. cute. It looks amazing, so unique. So there's loads of cafes and um, cafes and restaurants actually. I haven't really checked it properly. Like, Ooh. But everywhere I look, there's literally like restaurants and they look amazing. And it's fairly priced, it's kind of, it's cheaper than Osaka. Do you think? If you compare it, yeah. Alright, so after waiting for about 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, we are finally in. This place is actually quite popular. Because there's so many people who are just waiting outside to be served and to go upstairs. <sighs> Can't wait. So we ordered the matcha ice cream and the matcha tiramisu because um, I saw on TikTok it looks quite nice. The tiramisu. Like, I thought they wish. I thought that was our order then. But yeah, can't wait. That only costed us about 1.2k yen, which is equivalent to I'm not sure. I'll put the <laughs> I'll put the conversion in the screen now. But yeah. It looks so cute. I, I don't even want to eat it, I just want to stare at it and put it as a painting. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh Alright guys, so this is the tiramisu. It looks super creamy. Oh mm. Nice. It's nice. The tiramisu or the matcha? Do you like tiramisu. The it's alright. Depends what mood it means. Can you taste the matcha? Mm. Strong mm. or? Oh, it's not even coffee. You can't even, like normally tiramisu is like coffee, isn't it? You can taste yeah. the coffee, but this is nothing. Wow. I've gone for a bit with not too much matcha on it. Mm. It's not rich, isn't it? Oh, it's super like light. creamy. Mm. Mm. I found the cake bit. Yeah. I think it's tiramisu, um, matcha cake. It does taste more like tea like. So well, that's actually way nicer than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Mm. Let's try this ice cream. You just. Oh, you're going for it. <laughs> oh, that's strong. Is it? I prefer the tiramisu. It's like really, really strong. Intense matchup. But it's weird. The more I'm eating it, the more I'm like, actually, I like it. Thank <laughs> you. 
but I feel like I don't like it, but I can't stop eating it. Like, it's nice, and then there's this like really bitter taste at the end. Mm. Yeah, it's like green tea, isn't it? But up until the bitter taste, I like it. All right, guys. So um, after that nice dessert. When we came out, the road is actually closed and loads of people started coming here in and the middle of the road. road. Wow. So cool. Like, look at that, it's huge. Oh my God. It's so it's random. I wonder why they've closed the road. I wonder if they do this regularly, yeah. maybe at a certain time each day. And there's so many people like right at the front. Yeah, right. but it's kind of crazy to me because it seems that they're really strict on like jaywalking and yeah. stuff here. So it's kind of weird to see everyone walking in the road when literally nobody crosses the road if it's not a green light, even if there's nothing coming. So to see everyone just walking so freely on the road is quite interesting. Amazing. If any of you guys know, like, is this in a, like, does this happen often? Because it was, it wasn't closed before we went into the matcha cafe. There were cars on here, and now it's just people. Maybe it's a certain time, maybe a certain day. It is the weekend. It's yeah, a it is the weekend. Yeah, it's a Saturday. So maybe at a certain time on the Saturday, the road becomes open for people to walk freely. But yeah, really, really cool. We are quickly interrupting today's video to talk about a new platform we have recently been using and absolutely loving. This is Nunu, New New, a place where you can connect with creators like us in a fun and interactive way. The way it works is creators like ourselves make videos asking you to decide on what we should do. It could be anything from what country we should visit next to what we should eat for dinner. This then allows you to interact and decide the outcome of our day by bidding or voting on what you'd like to see us do. After the voting or bidding has ended, you will then be able to watch a video of us doing the chosen option. Okay guys, you voted for sushi, so we have got sushi. This is a great way for you to have an involvement in our videos and our day-to-day -day life. You guys love to give us suggestions and recommendations, so what are you waiting for? The link to our Nunu profile is in the description box down below. So we'll see you over in Nunu, so get voting. Without further ado, let's get back to the video. So now we found this place on TikTok. It's a, it's a ramen place and there's loads of fire, bombing loads, there's loads. So we're gonna check that out. It's only about 20 minute, 25 minute walk we can either walk or get the train, but we decided to walk anyway, so yeah, come with us and see this amazing place. I'm scared of fire. So guys, this is the fire ramen. It's 1,350. But look how high it goes. I know, look how it's so scary. <laughs> So it says here it's a 226 year old recipe. That is crazy. So we get given an apron. Oh god, it's so hard. Fire protector. Yep. <laughs> so we don't get burnt. Are you ready, baby? Yeah. Yeah, we 
And then there's this like weird, this really nice smoky taste at the end, but it doesn't taste burnt. It's really good, but that's just the sauce. Let's try the noodles. Hold on. Mmm. Genuinely, really good. Oh, I can't wait now. I can't wait. Very different as well. It's not like your normal ones, but it tastes incredible. Wait. Oh, missing. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Ah, it's okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Pick up noodle. Pick up noodle. No eating. No eating. No eating. Open your mouth. Big mouth. Look up. Okay, yeah. Okay. There's the owner there. He's the boss. He's the boss. Right. <laughs> mm. And here's our gyoza as well. This wow. Is gyoza. This is the sauce for gyoza. Oh, thank you. Honestly, it tastes like a barbecued ramen, but it's not like. It doesn't taste burnt or anything. It tastes really good. I love it. How do you say yum in Japanese? Yummy. Or delicious. Oishi. 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 Mmm. No eating. No eating. Open it. Open your mouth. Big mask. Look up. Look up. Okay. Good. Okay. Taste it. Hi. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Good, I don't know what you mean by the smoke. Different, but so good. Oh, that's nice. Mm. <laughs> spring on you. Uh, I know what you mean by the <laughs> High five. smoky. High five to that, babe. That's good. Wow. <laughs> this is so nice. Must recommended visit here in Kyoto. Oh my god, that was so nice and what an amazing experience to like end the, the night. That was like the best thing Woo. ever. Like my adrenaline was sky high. <laughs> so I just I feel like I'm on top of the world right now because that was such a good experience. The guy the people in there were so 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 friendly and the guy, the owner, even his whole family have made like a Kyoto guide and he's given us one and he's told us some recommendations, so we'll definitely try and check them out. Um but yeah, it was great, and it we worked it out as the just the ramen, the fire ramen on itself is one thousand three hundred and fifty yen, which works out to seven pounds seventy. Which I actually think well, is, what it is is that's really good. Amazing. Like it's such a unique experience. Like we were expecting to Japan, Japan to be super expensive, and don't get me wrong, it is more expensive than like some Southeast Asian countries. But in terms of London prices, if you had an experience like that in London, you'd be paying thirty pounds. Like, 30, 50 pounds. Yeah, so actually, I think like it's not as expensive as I thought, and that experience was crazy. So, I don't think we mentioned the name, it's, it's called, called Men Backer, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you come and check this spot out for yourself. It's incredible, and you'll have a blast. And they're only open until 8 pm. Oh, oh, really? Mm. Ah, so you've got to come early, yeah. And this place has been open for 37, 30, 37 or, 38 or 38 years. years. The so that's crazy sure. and the recipe is 226 years old i was saying to zart i wonder how they found it did they one day just think let's set it on fire or do you think it was an accident yeah. and then they were like let's just try it anyway and then it <laughs> tasted good but yeah it's so so good 100 percent the best thing we've done so far <laughs> must do here in kyoto but i think we're going to end the video there because i'm shocked I'm shocked <laughs> We just need to recover, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure to like the video, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And smash that notification bell. Smash it. And we will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.